Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Freedom Castle Cafe. I am Shalanda Elise and you are inside of Le Chateau. So today is the last day of my 40 day fast. I began a fast on December 1st where I put myself on 22 hours a day of no food and a two hour eating window between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. During these last 40 days, I've had two little mini fasts within that because um, 22 hours a day with no eating, my body wasn't feeling the hunger that I wanted to feel. So on day 23, I began a seven day water only fast. After that, I did a three day dry fast. So my three day dry fast was from January 1st to January 3rd. It was 72 hours actually. I was counting more so the hours than the days. So I did a 72 hour dry fast, no food, no water. Today is day 40 and I'm going to take you guys to the market where I get my meat from and um, show you what I'll be having for dinner tonight when I break my fast. Now, tomorrow, inshallah, God willing, will be my feast day. So anyway, let's get to the market and I'll show you guys what I'll be having for dinner tonight. All right, I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, so we are here and I'm going back to the butcher because that's just where I go. That looks very appetizing. It's a bone-in beef chuck steak. That looks very good for dinner. Oh, they got oxtails. That's why they moved. So this is where the goat was. I also got some beef 
part. That's what she's getting for me right now. to get a fresh one. Look at that. That is awesome. So you guys, look at their beautiful plants. This is where I got rosemary from. My rosemary plant. They got rubber tree. I used to have a rubber. Spider plants. They have peace lilies. I used to have a peace lily also in my previous home. Uh, it couldn't handle the heat though. <laughs> but they are so beautiful and they are wonderful air purifiers. I love peace lilies. Look at that. That looks like an alocasia. So they have herbs out here. This is where got rosemary from. You see it down there? It looks like basil. So, anyway, I got myself some beef hearts and uh, the beef chuck steak. So, I'm going to eat well on my last fasting day. And again, I eat between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. So, like I said, that's why I'm not using my wood-burning stove until tomorrow, God willing, because, like, right now, the sun is shining, it's beautiful, but um, it's a nice little chill in the air, and I get cold very easily, and so um, I need to be able to use the stove, like, right now, you know, whereas I don't start cooking until about 3 p.m., so... Uh, it's way too cold by then the sun is on its way to set and your girl would just be way too cold to be trying to be out there with a stove just so I can record a video so anyway um, let's get back to Le Chateau so that I can relax before it's time for me to break my fast all right uh, I'll see y'all at dinner time we are back inside of Le Chateau and I just wanted to come and show you the beef heart. This is it. It's a beautiful cut in case you've never seen it before. This is a really nice cut of meat. And I requested for him to leave the fat on there because I want to cut it off myself and do what I want with it. So I'm about to, like last time, I'm about to go ahead and get this and the beef chuck steak cut up. And um, let me show y'all my knife. So this is my knife that I cut my meat with. Once again, in my left hand. This is my left hand. I did that because my tattoo is on my right hand. So sometimes it may look backwards, but my bare hand is my left hand, and I'm left-handed, and this is my beautiful knife. So let me go ahead and get this cut up and the beef chuck steak cut up and then we'll continue on from there so here's the beef heart and there's the fat i decided not to cut up the beef chuck steak because um i think i'm going to put that in my fridge tonight and have that for tomorrow so let's just go ahead and get started with cooking this and um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this will be enough for me to eat. If I don't think it will, then um, I do have some pasture raised eggs, which are very nutrient dense, not like the other eggs, even the ones that say cage free, they're still, it's not the same. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going to get this fat melted and then get
get this put in and seasoned up and uh, I'll come back when that's done. y'all see that so there we are and I'm actually going to cook it with with the fat in there. I'm not going to take it out because I want it to continue to render down. So let's just put the beef part in there. And I cut it up kind of like in little cubes and chunks. So... Let's go in with our seaweed sea salt, my favorite. And the spices I'm using today are um, just the smoked paprika and turmeric. I have a really lovely Hungarian style paprika also. I didn't pull it out though. I should have. And I was debating on if I wanted to cut up a few cloves of garlic. I do have some fresh garlic and I decided not to. We're just doing it carnivore style. Just mm, meat. <laughs> Just meat. Let me use my spoon. I need to add some ghee I will but I left the fat in there because I just want to use the meat fat but I do want to get a nice fry on this and with this beef heart my intention is to just cook it like a medium well medium you know I mean it's the it's an organ, so it's a bit different. But uh, essentially, I just want to cook the paprika and the curry. Uh-uh, I'm lying. The paprika and the turmeric. I want to try not to add any water, but I might need to add a dribble of water. We'll see. So in honor of Carnivore Month and us old blood types, you know, we just, we just doing meat. <laughs> we just doing red meat, baby. Just red meat all month long. Okay. And the month after that. And quite possibly the month after that. <laughs> so please be forewarned. Okay. 
So I'm going to let this do its thing and we'll come back and check on it. I did add a dribble of water. Now I'm going to get some chili peppers put, it, put in there, babe. It's got to be spicy. It's got to be spicy. Mmm. Dual. Toi. Sunk. Don't come in my accent, anybody. I'm still learning. It's going to be a while before I get the accent down. <laughs> All right. That's what we looking like. All right, gonna let that do its thing a little longer. That's what we got. I'm gonna put some of these cocktail tomatoes in there. I'm actually going to cut them in half with my small knife. I got these from Sprouts. last week sometime. That's an uneven high. So what? <laughs> so what? It's okay. My Libra scales are just gonna have to deal with it. These tomatoes are so good and juicy. Just let the tomatoes heat up a little bit and uh, this is done. Simple, quick, and easy. I'm going to top it with some feta and down the hatch they go. Fire. The season is Perfect. Look at that. Excuse my sniffles. That's the uh, chili peppers. If that don't look good, you're definitely not a carnivore. <laughs> All right. There we go. Beef heart with uh, cocktail tomatoes, feta cheese, and I topped it for shits and giggles with some pumpkin seeds. They are not roasted because uh, they roast them in canola oil and I don't want that. So anyway, this is dinner. This is how I'm breaking my fast for the last time after 40 days. Let's dig in. All right, so here we go. Let's see. 
This is my first time having beef heart. Where's my camera? Right there. Stop playing. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. With the feta, the goat cheese. Mm. This is really good. No cap. Yes. I do say that about everything I cook. But that's just because your girl can cook her face off. Okay? I throws down. No matter what it is. I throws down. I can make a vegan. Some vegan real whole food so fire. They'll wonder what they've been doing with their life. Vegetarian, African, yeah. I throw this down. And I did not skimp on this. Mm-hmm. It is definitely not like liver, but it's a good meaty organ like liver but a better flavor than liver although I do like liver I can acknowledge the flavor of it this is definitely better mmm 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 I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of cooking in Los Chateau this here is fire Thank you so much for breaking my fast with me. And thank you for tuning in to another episode. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Once again, everybody is still new. So I appreciate you guys so, so much. And um, all my videos are pretty much in real time. I record them, edit them, and post them all the same day. So this is today. Tuesday, I believe. Yeah, January 9th. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much. Let me know what you think of this. And let me know if you've ever had beef heart. Like I said, this is my first time having it. And I like it. It won't be my last. This is a, a good organ. And this is a great old blood type meal i am my lifestyle now as of this year is eating strictly for my blood type and eating only things that are on the highly beneficial list for my blood type and my blood type which is o are heavy carnivores like there's a lot of fruits and vegetables that i'm supposed to avoid so bon appetit I'll be on till I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you again. Peace. This is fire. I know they like, what's she in there cooking? Baby, everything. 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 Mm-hmm. Hmm, 40 days. Thank you, God.